Okay, Amiga Heaven. And we're now going to be into one of my favourite games ever on the Amiga. I love this game so much. I played it a crazy amount. Because it was fucking hard. And the game is Flashback. Now. Oh, here we go. There's no talking in the intro. But you're running from some guys. You don't know why yet. You start up your futuristic flying bike. And you get away! They shoot into the nothingness for some reason. Oh no, but they've got a fast ship too. Oh, they're a very big ship. Okay, they're going to shoot at me. But no, I'm going to get away. Oh no, they winged me. And now they're looking for me. And that is the intro. Now, I'm not going to explain exactly what you're doing because there is a point in this game in which there is a cutscene that kind of explains what's going on. Um, if I remember correctly, the cutscene is just after you start the second part of the game. And that's as far as I'm going to be playing today, if I can get there. I haven't played this in a while. But I did play the first level so many times. So I think I still remember a lot of how it's positioned and stuff. Oh look, I fell on the ground. Oh, the cube fell over. Right. Now the cube fell down below me and you can hear it beeping. I've got to go get it because it will stop me from progressing if I don't go and collect it. It's on this sensor here. Pick that up. And now I'll just move out the way and I'll show you what it does. You know, it took me a good couple of months, not months, but a good couple of weeks of playing before I realised you can activate the hollow cube. I didn't know that. Because they actually use the hollow cube at a later date. So I just thought that's why I was picking it up. I didn't know it did stuff. Here we go. Very vague intro. Ooh, it's me. Hi, comrade. You must be wondering how you recorded this message without remembering it. Good question. But it would take too long to explain and time is sh short. And if you want to save your hide, you must contact your old friend Ian in New Washington. He'll explain it all there. Good luck. And watch your back, because it's my life you're playing with. There we go. Very brief, very random introduction. Now, this was a game that I absolutely adored, because it was a platforming game, as you can see. But... Hold on, I'm gonna run. Ignore the ignore the robots. Oh, run straight past the robot. He can't get me. Ah, uh, fall down here. Yay, that little noise tells me there's an enemy nearby. Just in case you couldn't see it below you. And I'm gonna drop to my knees and shoot, shoot, shoot. There we go. Um, yeah, it was a platforming game, but it had so many different controls that you couldn't use. Uh, con a, a joystick, really. Not really. Um, because the Amiga joystick... Credit card. Well, the one that I had, anyway. Um, had just a red joystick. Okay, this is hard. Right. What I'm going to have to do... I've got to kill the robot. I've got to get my gun out. Turn around. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, you might blow me off here. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Damn it, I lost one. Um... But that's always... So the thing with this game is there are certain positions that it's... You're going to get shot or hit or something. But then there are ways to use items like this. That opens the door for me. 
And now if I drop, I can shoot him. Yay! See? Now, what often happens if you jump over there and um, open the door manually, he will shoot you nine times out of ten. Ah, damn it, I need to jump. So I'm using a keyboard to control the original Amiga keyboard because it's just easier. I know all the key bindings. Okay, let's drop down here. Yeah, I'm going to go over here because I think this is the way we need to go. That cartridge that I just picked up, yeah, opens this, puts like a bridge down, um, but it needs to be charged. So we've got to find a charge in. Let's get my gun out and drop. There we go. Whee! Um, and yeah. You would never, in this game, if you drop and go to get your gun out, you'd be shot every single time. That thing hurts me. I wanted to walk into it to show people. And the same with these, because you actually get a cool little animation of a death. Yay. Um, but restarting is just a hassle. Okay, so... That will charge my generator. But the good thing about this, which is also something I learned quite late on, is that's my shield. That's basically my lives. I can recharge that too. It was a little while before I realised I could actually do that, and it was purely by accident. But you have to do that, especially if you put this game on hard, because it's so hard. We're not going to go up yet and deal with him. Um, because I remember this bit, basically there's a guy there that is after your help, so I think he, he wants like a teleporter, I think it was, okay, so I'm gonna go and get his teleporter before I bother going up there, let's use this on here, oh, cutscene, I do like this as well, you get cutscenes for semi-pointless bits, Oh, there's a robot. Die, robot! Bang. There we go. you got to wait for his, like, electronic arm to come out. <laughs> and let's run. Oh, that means there's someone here. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, no. Okay, no one there. Oh, maybe it was for the robot, perhaps. Over there, and we come up here. And you see, that lets me go down there later. Because I might have to drop. I think I've got to drop down there later. I mean, that's the path to get out. It's down there. I don't know if there's anyone behind here. No. Okay. Fine. You can never trust. Hey. Something on that. Oh. Okay. Fine. I've got to put a rock on here. So you see, it's not your traditional platform and for anyone who hasn't actually seen or played this game it's so much fun you've got an oh a stone oh lovely uh teleporter there we go that's what i needed you've got so many different controls going on it's not just a typical run jump shoot kind of thing um because you very much have an action button which if i'm holding the action button and push a direction he will run um, if I push jump without the action button, he'll just jump straight up in the air. Oh, save point. I haven't got any blank discs to save. But that's where you would be able to save if you had a blank disc. Okay, yeah, you see there, if you push the action button and push down, he will turn around and hang off the edge. So that if it's a higher drop... He won't kill himself from dropping the higher distance because he's already hanging part of the way. So that's a good way to kind of get... Like from here, I don't know how much lower it is. So if I push the action button and push down, it would hang off of the thing. But I'm not going to go down yet because I need to give him his uh, teleporter. Can't remember what it is he gives me. Money, perhaps. Oh, I jumped. And that's another thing, that's another move. If you hold the action button and push left or right, he runs. But what he does 
is if there's a platform appears above him, he will automatically jump for it. So it's a good way to get to some places that are just a bit too far away. And we jump up here. The thing that was handy as well is they, they can't shoot through screens. There's the music. Roll in. Bang, bang, bang. See, rolling in is much more fun because when you roll in... Oh, it's a sensor. Oh, there's one there as well. Okay. That other sensor will probably bring it down. Oh, hold on. I've got to jump up. Yeah, it's a chance because there's two sensors. One moves it up and one moves it down. And I don't want to... I've got to get up here. And now let's run! Yay. Hello, old bloke. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. All right, so I'm going to talk to him first so you can see what he says. Help me, young man. I've been attacked by mutants and I can't walk. Find my teleporter. I'm in urgent need of medical assistance. And you select it and you give it to him. Give him. Thanks, you just saved my life. There he goes. Oh, nice, an ID card. Right, and you see, that was where I was earlier on. I needed an ID, I needed cards, didn't I, to open doors. So there you go. That's perfect. Um, but I'm not going to go that way yet. I'm going to go down that hole I jumped over because when you get to the end, there is a guy that wants to sell you something. And that's why I'm walking around. That's why I'm collecting the money. So I need to get the money. I can't remember how much it is. But I remember getting a lot. Um, in that hole. So I'm going to go and I need to get the money first. Uh, yep. See here, if I ran, he would automatically jump to that top one on the left. You'll see here. There you go. And it just hangs there. If I'm, if as long as I'm holding the action button, he'll just hang there. Um, it's another thing as well. Is I love the fact that it still notifies me of an enemy, even though, I mean, the enemy is dead. There we go. Lovely. Now this is an example of something I was talking about earlier on. I can't possibly kill both of these guys. One of them is going to shoot me in the back. Right. But it's okay, because they've put a shield regenerator on here. There you go. That way, it's one of those arguments. Oh yeah, you have to be shot. But it's fine, you can reheal yourself there. You know, that could that could be a, a point of like life or death, really. Oh no, shooting a wall. Okay. So just turn this off. There you go, lovely. Oh damn floor sensors. That's probably the biggest thing that I forget are the floor sensors because they blend in so well oh no 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 hold on damn it crap see I wasn't prepared okay I'm just gonna walk to the end oh goodness shouldn't be able to blow me off from there thank god roll down what happened hold on what happened there get your gun out Okay, I'm not sure what happened there, because he kind of landed on the floor and put his gun away. Oh. Oh, there was a stone. Okay, I knew I saw something when I rolled past it. I'll take it. This is another fun little death thing. Oh, credits. Oh, hold on. I've got to put my gun away. Pick up the credits. But I've got to roll past this. There you go. I have to roll past it to make sure, otherwise I wouldn't make it. Oh, okay, guns. 
Uh, no, wrong place. See, now these two guns are set off somewhere. There's a key, lovely. Um, yeah, there's going to be uh, something that's going to set the guns off, that one above me. Let's roll in. Ah, oh, I got him, yeah. See, if I hadn't have rolled in... Um, okay, so I think the money's on the top shelf, so that's where I'm going. Ah, yeah, look, and you see there's that little sensor on the floor next to the recharge station. 500, that was a lot. Okay, I don't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna risk going down there, because I know that that sensor next to the charging station is what's gonna set those guns off, yeah. Oh, more money, I missed this. Where is it? There it is. I think it's because I rolled past it. Okay, now I think I've got all the money in the game. I can't remember how much he wants. But that should be enough now. I've got to roll past this. Wee! Oh, come on, come on. Stop dripping. There we go. Wee. Yeah, it's not much left now. I've just got to pretty much walk to the end. And then that should take me to part two. I can run through this. Oh no, it set that off. See, I can redo my health here anyway. There we go. Yay. See, at least as long as you know the enemies don't necessarily respawn, then you're kind of okay. Now I'm going to go over here. Oh, I don't think there was, I think there was a door here. Yeah, there is. Okay. Key lock. Okay, so that's why I need the key. I wondered why, because I thought these both of these doors would have used the card. But, okay, so one of them uses some transparent key, apparently. Okay. Let's kill this robot thing underneath me. I remember this a lot more than I thought I would, to be honest. I mean, I played, like I said... The first level I played a lot, a hell of a lot. Because with my Amiga, oh, another cutscene. With my Amiga, I didn't have a uh, like a hard drive, and I didn't have a lot of blank discs, to be honest. So I would every time I wanted to play, you'd pretty much start from the beginning. Bang. Which was annoying and frustrating. Ooh, ah, I like this trap. So you can see there's an automated gun, and the sensor is right on the far right. So if I pick a little stone, and I throw the stone past the sensor, let's let the gun sort them out for me. Bang. And now if I've got my, as long as I stay crouched, which I always am, when I've got my gun out, it can't shoot me. Oh, no one here. More dripping. Let's just roll past that. And yup. All right. Uh, yeah, here we go. This is the end. To get to New Washington, you have to jump into this hole. But if you were, but if I were you, I'd use anti-grav belt. Where can I find one? I can sell you one. 500. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I got 500 with that one thing. I think the difficulty levels, there, there you go, I got 660. I think if, if you're on hard, you have to have 660. Bon voyage. And... Jump into the hole. Okay, there should be a cutscene. 
that shows me using the belt. Oh, there we go. Turn it on. Oh, straight up. And land. Lovely. Here we go. This is the start of number two. So, I'm pretty sure it's just up there that I meet Ian. That's interesting. There's no one around. So, there's an enemy down here then? No. Okay. Right, so. And this is where you see the running jump thing. I couldn't jump to that platform, but if I just run automatically, he will automatically jump to it. So I don't have to manually jump for that. Let's go up here. Okay. Now, I can't remember there being enemies in there, but it warned me, so let's roll in and see. Oh yeah, there they are. Oh, red guys. Oh no, they shot me. Okay. Just keep shooting. One dead, two dead, thank God. I'm not quite sure how they didn't hit me there again, but... Uh, thanks, Conrad. Those cops would have had my hide. Well, I suppose you don't remember your old pal Ian. Take a seat. We'll fix that shortly. And he walks. And this is the big cutscene. Slowly, the rays from the Regenerator re-implant the memories in Conrad's brain. Bang, green light. Green laser. The end of your thesis. Glasses which measure molecular density. Individuals whose molecular density is a thousand times the norm. Aliens mixed in with the population. My investigations have attracted their attention. I'm no longer safe. There's the cube. You see, this is what I was talking about earlier. I'm recording the hologram. Then I save the contents of my memory and send it to Ian. You see, because you use the hologram blocks in this, I was unaware that it actually did anything. I didn't try, to be honest. I'm casually walking. They shot me in the back. The kidnapping. I have erased his memory. Fog. Dot dot dot. A minute's rest. Evasion. And now I have my memories back. Ian, what do you have to do to get to Earth? The cost of tickets are very expensive. The only way would be to take part in Death Tower. Death Tower? Yes! It's a television game. The winner gets tickets. Okay. Can you supply false papers? No problemo! Go to the bar! Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to be doing any of this. Um, he's giving me a false field, though. Thanks. Till next time. So that's where I'm going to finish here. Um, yeah, it's such a fun game. It really is. Um, there's the force field. See, you can... Yeah, there you go. You get, uh, you're get. you able to take one hit before it cuts out. So that can be quite handy. Um, and yeah, it's really, really fun. The, the TV show is 
rather difficult. And then on like the fourth part of the game, I think it is, you kind of start with men chasing you, and it's really hard. It's really fun. Um, the game's still available on different platforms. If you enjoyed it, have fun um, and give it a go. Thank you very much for watching Amiga Heaven. I will see you next week.